way that we have. morning it is 10 6 a.m i actually have to leave in 25 minutes we are on a time crunch today is the first day back to university sunscreen on i thrifted this tweety bird oversized shirt and it's very comfortable to sleep in the plan for today is to go to all of my classes today is a thursday i don't know why we start on a thursday but we don't have any tutorials or practicals in the first week. So today I only have lectures and you would think that it would be a lighter schedule, but I still have five lectures. I think it's just gonna be our profs talking about the syllabus, what to expect. And then for calculus, or I guess it's not even calculus, it's literally, it's a course that combines calculus and fluid mechanics into one semester course. But they did say that they were going to jump right into it. I am both not excited and also slightly excited. I can't tell. I'm excited for today, but maybe not for the whole semester to begin. Two days ago, I went to the Cigarettes After Sex concert. It was so good. It was so good. Um, I am still thinking about it. Yesterday night, I was going to bed listening to Cigarettes After Sex, wishing I was back. Everybody seemed to be entranced and mesmerized by his live vocals and their live performance. My friend just texted me asking me where our first class is, and I just realized I didn't even think about that issue, and I don't know where it is. Okay. I need to think of an outfit.
is finally made. It is now 8.30. Um, I did end up making a bigger batch of everything that I'm eating for dinner so that I could meal prep a little bit, put the extras in the fridge, and then bring it for lunch tomorrow. Because I have a 9 a.m. tomorrow, I don't want to wake up super early to make my lunch, so I'm going to be piecing together random things that I have in my fridge um, and bring that for lunch. I did buy a bunch of new glass containers so that I could store food in my fridge, but I do really want to get better at meal prepping because I know that it can be a huge time saver. I've seen videos on YouTube of people saying they can prepare 21 meals in 60 minutes. And I'm like, please teach me. I, I literally just made one meal in 60 minutes with like a little bit of extra. So I must be doing something wrong, but I will update if I end up mastering the art of meal prepping as a college student. Delicious chicken. Okay, so we're back again at the desk. Thought I would talk a bit about how I organize my notes because I am in engineering, so we are required to take six classes per semester. And I find that every time I start a new semester, I'm always so confused because all six courses are somewhat similar. There are a few that overlap and it just gets really confusing in my head. I need to compartmentalize all the course codes, the instructors, and then kind of associate the deadlines and the topics that way. So one method that really helps me get settled in quick is actually structuring my notability. This can apply for whatever note-taking app you like to use. And this applies for like Google Drive or some sort of file directory system as well. It's really simple. Over here, I have all the courses. So for example, for vector calculus, so I have the general like syllabus, textbook PDF, and the notes. So this was from the demo today, and these are the lecture notes. During my first year, I had created a new separate note for each lecture that I had. And at the end of the year, I probably had like maybe 50 something, 60 something separate notes just for each different lecture. At the end of the year, when I was cleaning up, I ended up manually combining all those PDFs into one so that I could put it onto my hard drive and keep it in case I need to reference it. So this year I was thinking I might just do it all in a big notes file and just add on to it with every lecture. I'm not sure how that would work out though, if I need to find something quickly, but we'll see. Maybe I'll split it up into sections, into weeks. I also color code the things a little bit. So in my head, my thermodynamics class is kind of like a warm orange yellow color. Ordinary differential equations class, I associate that with purple. I also wanted to take like the first week to just figure out the best way of taking notes for that class. So far, five out of the six classes, I think I'm gonna be taking handwritten notes on my iPad. And for ethics, like engineering and society ethics, I'm gonna be typing that out so that if I ever need to control F to find anything, I can quickly find that. I'm thinking either Google Docs or Notion maybe Notion so I can easily put diagrams into it. I was a huge fan of paper notes for a while, but it just got too chaotic with six classes and then carrying six notebooks. That just doesn't make sense. Right now, I think I'll only be using paper to write like summary sheets so that it's fresh in my mind or, I mean, I use scrap paper for like to-do lists, but just things that I want to engrave into my head, I will write that on paper. So for the rest of the night, I'm gonna do... I actually have a quiz, it's just like a trial quiz. I'm gonna finish that for a class. And I also have a few summer projects I need to be finishing up and polish up the code for my research position by Friday. And today is Thursday, so I wanna work on that so that we can run our experiments with me. Hopefully the classes don't get too intense tomorrow. Today was pretty chill. Once Monday starts, it's gonna be the full deal. Let me just show you what the schedule looks like. It's a very colorful mosaic. It's okay. 
we'll go through with it. So I'm just gonna keep working now. I have to shower, brush my teeth, and then go to bed. I'm not gonna sleep too late today. I need to cherish the sleep while I still can. But yeah, with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Maybe it's also your first day of school or your first week. So I hope you have a good day today, tomorrow, and every day. Good night and see you in the next video.